A gaming superfan has spent five years and $11,000 making a replica of the iconic Warthog truck from the Halo video games out of an old 1984 Chevy and using a 3D printer. Brian Haverkin single-handedly recreating the detailed full working street legal version of the famous vehicle. He used traditional fabrication methods as well as more advanced 3D printing technology, which allowed Brian to match the truck's measurements to the in-game version. In the Halo 3 game, the M12 Light Reconnaissance Vehicle is a four-wheel drive, all-terrain utility truck, and Bryant decided to build a real-life version while playing the game with a friend in 2003. Scroll down for video. He managed to find a stripped-down 1984 Chevy K10 pickup truck which he split into three sections and reconstructed to build a frame that fit the shape of the warthog. The project was at times grueling for Bryant as he had to go to hospital twice after injuring himself on the build, once for burns and once for carbon monoxide poisoning. The body was then constructed from iron, sheet metal and plastic, which sits on 35x15x15-inch Super Swamper tires, but Brian said the engine was his biggest triumph. Phone technician, Bryant, from Michigan said, most people when they see this thing are just absolutely floored with how realistic it looks. Share this article share I'm a big Halo fan. I have been ever since I played it back in 2003. I'm trying to build this thing as close to the actual Warthog as possible. I have built it from the ground up, completely solo, on my own. This is actually the first vehicle I have ever built from the ground up. I have worked on my Mustang's bodywork, but never engine work. Never framework or structural work. The engine is based off a 1984 Chevy 350. But I rebuilt it so that it's got door tech heads with a 64cc combustion chamber, roughly 9. 3 to 1 compression ratio, long tube headers, stock hand shaft, nothing too aggressive. I would say my favorite memory out of the entire construction process was probably three months into it. It was the first time I have ever built an engine. I had no idea if it was going to start up. But when I turned that key and the engine fired right up, it brought a smile to my face. And just the best feeling ever. Bryant says his work has resulted in about 350 400 horsepower, which means the vehicle can reach up to 85 miles per hour, but the Warthog is about more than just performance. All the extra details make the difference on this particular recreation, with Dottie said, a lot of time and effort goes into building something this complicated. All the little details, they add up. Five and a half years, and I'm still not done. It's got fully functional lights, brights, high beams, blinkers, off-road lights on the top to match the Warthog's actual functional lights. The front of the Warthog is actually a functioning hood. It flips open like a snowmobile hood, front ways, and gives access to the engine in case you have to work on something. For the body, Bryant used galvanized steel and 1 8 inch thick tubular square steel for the roll cage, using a 3D printer, which, naturally he assembled himself, to print smaller parts such as the rear view camera cover and the gas cap cover. Other features include a fully functioning custom illuminated dashboard and racing seats Brian bought on eBay and which keep occupants safe during off-road adventures. 
with this much attention to detail, it's no wonder his creation draws attention. Brian said, everywhere I seem to drive this thing it turns heads. Pulling into a gas station people are stopping to take pictures. Asking questions about it. People may not recognize that it's a warthog, but they just think it looks cool, so they want to take pictures. Pretty much, this turns heads all around. Bryant estimates he has spent around $11,000 on materials, with the hospital bills adding an extra $5,000 to his overall spend. But after he adds four-wheel steering and some extra aesthetic pieces, Bryant hopes to sell the Warthog for between $75,000 to $100,000 and plans to use that cash to fund a PhD in physics. But he admitted he might find it difficult to part with such labor of love he worked so hard on. He added, some of my favorite memories from building this thing were actually when I had it up and running for the first time ever. I was able to actually take it out on the road, take it for a test drive. And just the feeling of driving this unique, beastly looking machine down the road that looks like nothing else, it just puts a warm fuzzy feeling in your heart.